All right, so we're looking at how to record a lesson, and I'm using Active Inspire. The reason that I'm using this specifically is because this is what my students are used to in school. So when I do a lesson on here, they can see exactly um, how to do it as they're familiar with. What I'm going to do to this is I'm going to use QuickTime Player. If you're not familiar with where that is, you go to Finder and go to Applications, and then we go to QuickTime. Open that up, and up here I click on File, New Screen Recording. Over here there's this little drop down arrow. I'm going to choose to use the internal microphone when I, when I uh, make these sometimes, sometimes I don't. If I wanted to record the audio, I will choose internal microphone. If I don't, I will not choose it, okay? For the, the purpose of this video, I'm not going to choose it, um, but normally I would. I'm going to click record. Now it says I can just do a click to do the entire screen, or I can drag to record part of the screen. So what I do is I set up to see what area I need before I start recording. And if I make an error, I can always go back and start the recording again. So I'm going to drag this over here, and I'm going to click start recording. In the top right here, see this is grayed out. If this is, in, if this is black, that means it's recording. If it's grayed out, that means it's not. So I'm going to look for that a couple seconds, and then it turns black. So now it's starting to record everything that I'm doing. On the right side here, all these tools, the students don't see. They only see what's highlighted here, that, that part that I originally uh, clicked and dragged over. So they won't see me clicking in and out of these things. Um, I'm just going to type, type a couple of reminders here. I use the Promethean Active Inspire, and that's because students are used to it in my classroom. In my classroom, um, the other thing that we're going to use is QuickTime, and from QuickTime, we're going to go to File, New Screen Recording, and then that's where we select the screen size, begin recording. When you're done. You're going to click on the stop button at the top of the screen. Remember, this is only one way to record a lesson or anything that you're doing. You don't have to use this way. All right. Um, let me look at a lesson that I did previously, too. So when I was recording this, I would type in here or right in here, and then I'd click on here to go to the next page like you normally would. And remember, the students are only seeing what's inside the recording here. All right, so let's go back to where we were. Um, and that's how I'm going to record this. When I'm done, I click Stop up here. And now I, now I can preview it. So when I click Play, it's going to have everything that I did. If I recorded with sound, you'll be able to hear yourself. If you see that you made an error, go back and do it again. I would suggest that at first you make a, a video that's maybe 30 seconds so that if you do make errors, it's you didn't do a whole lot of work before that too. Some people like to make transcripts for themselves. Um, I like to set up problems and uh, vocab so that I know what I'm going to do. You can even make a checklist on the side of you next to the computer so that you know what you're doing in order. All right, so now to save this, I'm going to go to File. See, I'm still in Quick QuickTime Player. File, save, and then I'm going to type in whatever I want it to be. Recording a lesson. Um, and where do I save it to? It, I like to save it to my documents. You can save it to wherever you save it to that you can find. And then click save, and then you'll have that, and you'll be able to upload that to whatever. Um, format you use. I'm using YouTube currently, so um, you'll see another video on that.